hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video we'll be learning about how to handle shadow dom using playwright so let me go to the website where i can show you a demo shadow root uh, shadow dom structure so i'm using internet heroku app.com slash shadow dom website and uh, here uh, we can inspect this element uh, like um, if you inspect this element you can see uh, this element is under a shadow root okay so if you see this kind of shadow root element then uh, then probably uh, you do not have to worry okay if you are using playwright because playwright will handle it automatically we do not have to do any extra i mean extra thing i mean or you do not have to write an extra line of code like you do for selenium in selenium we have to do uh, you have to handle it in a, in a different way so in that case you need to use a javascript executor right so it's a altogether different thing but here in playwright it's very straightforward okay it's just like another element okay so let's uh, try it make sure it is in open state this shadow root open if it is in close then we might have some problem or we cannot handle it okay so first thing we need to uh, get the locator of this um, element and I would suggest to take the CSS locator XPath would also work here but uh, I have seen like uh, CSS works uh, a better way I mean if it is a shadow root then in that case sometimes it happens like uh, your XPath will not work okay so let me go to first PyCharm and let me I mean I have already created this shadow root shadow DOM file I have, in navigate, I have just written this code so after that what we can do we can write um, the text element right so for that let's uh, get the locator so let's try css first uh, css css first and then i will show you xpath as well like whether it's working or not that we also can check span slot equals to my text so as you can see it's highlighting that means this is matching and one node found so page dot uh, locator and the locator I have added the CSS locator and let's name it as text element okay now what we will be doing we will be printing the value uh, text element dot inner text and also give some uh, timeout so wait for timeout that means we're giving some delay and let's give a delay of 2000 milliseconds and let's run it let's see whether this text is getting printed or not so we can write by test minus s dash dash headed it is under miscellaneous so miscellaneous and slash test shadow dom and hit enter So we can see the page is loaded and it closed and also we can see like uh, this text is getting printed. Now let's uh, give some assertion. So we can write like um, here we can write expect uh, the text element dot uh, to contains text. So we are verifying like this different text is present in this sentence or not. Okay and this time let's try uh, a different locator that is xpath so we can convert it to xpath like this and let's try in the dom as well as you can see it is working so let's copy it I already i have already used here so now let's run it So as you can see it passed and also our xpath is also working and it's printing correctly so i hope you have got idea how to handle uh, shadow rom basically it is just uh, another locator i mean uh, another way just like you handle any kind of element you do not have to give any special attention to this shadow root element if you are doing with playwright playwright will do it for you 
okay and uh, like uh, sometimes it happens like it this element would be under another iframe maybe if it is something like that then that case first you have to handle the iframe okay the normal way like page dot frame locator and then dot and then locator and then you have to pass this locator just like you are handling any iframe element okay so i hope it is clear and if you have any doubt or any questions do let me know in the comment section and feel free to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye